This is Myanmar. And these are three of Fairwear Foundation outdoor brands, Saleva, Vade, and Jack Wolfskin. They may be competitors in retail, but when it comes to improving working conditions, they joined forces at their shared factories in Myanmar. When we first came to Myanmar, Myanmar was still a military dictatorship, so the general knowledge about international labor rights or labor law in total, it was very, very basic. When they started the project, Fairwear Foundation was not active in Myanmar yet, but that didn't stop the brands from rolling up their sleeves. Fairwear's annual conference was the perfect breeding ground for discussing the how and what of a joint project in Myanmar. We were sitting together and we were discussing the current situation in Myanmar. And then we decided that we have to get active ourselves and want to cooperate. So we decided to join forces and to establish a training program together as a first step and look what's needed next. So we agreed on a method, who would take over what tasks and we started looking for local partners, for information on the country, for how to prepare the materials, and generally to see how we could carry it out. In Smart Myanmar, they found a reliable local partner, specialized in factory training on social standards. Uh, we organized a, a training for workers from three different factories um, on uh, the Fairware Foundation Code of Conduct, and especially uh, on grievance mechanisms and on uh, communication systems, so how workers uh, can communicate proactively uh, with management. The brands use Fairware Foundation training material and the complaints helpline structure. All the working standards Fairware Foundation has, we yeah, train the management as well as the workers. So, During the training, we distributed cards to the workers with a telephone number where they could call directly in case they had complaints. We basic steps we bought a telephone, a SIM card, and had a person who would answer the telephone 24 hours. Now, so now, so some in our Amaru Ye, the hotline phone number, no? Now, phone, 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 send in any. Workers took trainings actually very positively, and they're not used to dialogue inside the factory or talking openly about being unhappy or being unsatisfied. If the door is opened, then they will use these words with their supervisors and this will effectively improve their conditions in the factories. For many of them, this was the first time I think that they'd participated in this kind of uh, activity where they, they'd learned what is the difference between labor laws, what is a code of conduct, how do buyers seek to enforce their code of conduct at their supplier factories. So all of these things were very new for the workers and we found that there was a good and healthy, positive engagement. Also the management was very open from the beginning, which was a big surprise for us. We thought they'd be a little bit afraid of opening the door to letting workers know what their rights were. But they were extremely open, they were very cooperative from the beginning, and they've taken part in every single successive training that we've organized. This project shows how collaboration among brands that are usually competitors is possible. And it works. Being a part of Ferrer Foundation means you're seriously committed to improving workers' rights in the factories. It also means having the benefits of cooperation, knowing you don't have to do it alone. And it works a lot better if you do it with other brands that are sourcing in the same factories. It's so beneficial and helps our supply chain partners to do the right things if we all have the same language and the same requests.